Hey guys, it's River Thames, and today I want to talk about something massive that has just gone down in this patch. Basically, as all patches, we usually get some hero updates, buffs and nerfs, and some new features added alongside. But in this patch, DICE have done something pretty revolutionary with the heroes, and in particular, Luke Skywalker to start. So Luke Skywalker has received a normal buff, which is to say that he can strike more lightsaber swings in the time of his stamina, which basically will improve the amount of max damage he can do because, because he can strike more in that time. So this was just a basic buff for Luke, but when you scroll down into the patch notes, you get something very, very interesting. Luke will now have separate values for Galactic Assault and Hero game modes. So that means his abilities will do a different damage to troopers and to villains. And this is massive. This was something that I was so frustrated with because I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of heroes in Galactic Assault. I think they're too weak. But in Heroes vs. Villains, I think they work fine because you don't want something to be too strong. You don't want something to be too strong just so it works in Galactic Assault. And this has solved the problem massively for me. So Luke's force push will now do 150 damage to troopers. This can one shot every class except the heavy. The heavy will take another lightsaber hit after that. So the force push essentially is a one shot kill ability to assault, specialist and officer. Which is huge, that is something that's going to prove massive in Galactic Assault and f make Luke feel more enjoyable to play. And Force Push has been buffed to, to 90 damage and that is perfect. It does a little damage but in Heroes vs Villains it's not really about the damage for Force Push. It's about getting enemies away from you so you can escape. Repulse does the same with 130 to all units and by all units I mean pretty much everything except a hero so that's going to be b2 battle droids death troopers that's going to be your classes that's going to be everything except a hero and repulse will have a 75 damage to villains which again like the force push it's not meant to deal massive amounts of damage but in galactic assault these can really get you out of a tough situation when you're surrounded by a lot of people and i think that's what they were initially designed for so to have these damage increases means that you only need to use one or two swings of your lightsaber to guarantee yourself a kill after these abilities, which is huge for Luke. It almost makes him an entirely different hero from what he was at launch. In two game modes, he now has two different values. So for the meantime, he's probably going to be the best hero to choose in Galactic Assault. And this is a huge step for heroes in Battlefront 2 and making the perfect balance for the player experience. Luke also can now return to his normal sprint speed or idle after using his dash ability a lot faster because once you've used the ability and you know you finish the animation it took maybe too long to get back to your normal speed and you're susceptible to damage. Now you can continue running a lot more faster. So this is the first hero that DICE have given this treatment to and in the patch notes they were clear in saying they want your feedback on this. They want you to use Luke and they want you to say does this work or not? Is this something you want to see for other heroes? Do you want to see, do you want to see damage multipliers between game modes? In my opinion I'd say yes because the heroes at times they can be so tough to get kills. You can get hit from random grenades, people shooting you across the map and you can lose all kinds of health. And to have this on your sides will give you a lot of confidence to use the heroes and push up and just enjoy yourself as a hero. Right now I feel a lot of players are being defensive because they know that once they push they're so vulnerable to damage that they can be taken out very easily. So this is massive change for Luke, something that I am definitely going to love. I'm going to play Luke a lot and give my feedback on it, so make sure you guys do too because it will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, it's been River and I'll see you in the next video.